Welcome back to the Greenfoot demo tutorials. Um, and we are talking about making backgrounds for projects. Uh, I have shown you in, in the two previous sections how to use image files for backgrounds and now I want to show you another possibility. Again I start from scratch. I had before my background demo. Now let's say call this background demo 2. So, so I'm creating a new scenario here. Um, and this time I don't want to use a uh, image for the background, but I want to paint it directly. So let's go into the my new world here. Um, this time, let's say I want a one pixel, oops, a one pixel resolution, and I want a screen size or world size of let's say 500 by uh, 350 pixels and I get rid of all the commentary here and if I compile this what we're getting is this um, world that is by default white. Now what we can do is we can get this image that we're seeing here and paint on it. Even though it's all white and it looks like there isn't an image, there in fact is an image. A world by default always has a background image. Just the default background image is just colored plain white but there is an image file. So I can just say get background um, and this will give me the image file. I can go to the Greenfield class library documentation if I want to check up on that. If I'm not sure I can look at the world documentation here. There is a get background method and it gives me an object of type Greenfoot image. So here get background this call will give me something of type Greenfoot image which I call BG for background. So I'm getting the current background image and I'm storing it in this variable, a local variable here. Now what I have now is this background image. So if I look at the Greenfoot image, what I can do with this, um, I have now various methods here to, to draw onto the, the background image. There's a fill which I can use. Um, it fills the entire image with the current drawing color. Oh, there's a spelling error here by the way, but we know what it means. Um, the current drawing color can be set with a method set color. So here set color sets the drawing current drawing color um, and then I can fill with this color. S this takes an object of type Java awt.color. So what I'm doing here is I'm importing this class import java.awt.color which you always have to do if you want to deal with colors and then I can say for my background I want to set the color to and then I can use one of the color constants out of this color class for example color dot black black is one of the constants available in the color class so Note that this alone doesn't do anything. Um, this, if, if I can compile this and a new object here gets created, this is still white. That set color does not set the color of the background. Set color just sets um, the color for all subsequent drawing operations. You can think about this as, you know, this dips your paintbrush into your color pot. So this prepares uh, your painting tools with the color black and everything you do from now on will use the color black. So I can now say background dot fill, and this should fill the background with the color that I've set before. So if I compile this now, here my background is black. Um, let's say we want to turn this now into space. So what we want is we want a sprinkling of stars on here. Uh, I can now put some stars in, and I do that because it's a separate task. I put that into a separate method. I do a private int create stars and let's say I want to specify how many number of stars uh, make that a parameter. So I can now do something here. First I want to get the background image again. Then I want a loop. Um, let's say Oops, I need to give it a name for my loop counter. Um, I go up to number of stars 
so while i is less than the number of stars and i increment by one every time so essentially that many times i want to do something what do i want to do i want to draw a very small circle drawing a circle that can, uh, i can do with draw oval and if you want to look at the um signature of that method oh fill oval is probably what i should do um fill oval I can specify the x and y and the width and the height. Um, so I use fill oval here. The x and y I have to figure out in a moment. I'll just type x and y for now. There. I want to make my stars really small dots, essentially single pixels. So I just make them one pixel wide and one pixel high so I get small dots. Um, and there ends my loop. What I want to use for x and y, this now is unspecified so far, is I want that to be random so that the stars, stars are sprinkled all over the screen. So here I want to compute x and y as a random number. So I use the known greenfoot dot get random number. Um, and I want to, for the x um, coordinate, I want it to be anywhere in the width of the world. So I use get width as my um, boundary for my random number. And I do the same, so I copy this, the same for the vertical coordinates. So y is then bounded, of course, by not the width, but the height of the world. So I've got x and y as random positions within the range, and I can do this. This alone will not show me anything yet, because I haven't set the color yet. I still um, the color here is black, I filled it, and now I'm painting stars on it. Um, but I'm still painting in black, so I won't see them, I need to change the color. So I say here, background dot set color, color dot, let's say we use gray for the stars. Um, what I n now need to do is create stars, I've got my method written. Uh, but of course nothing will happen because I'm not calling the method yet. So here I say create stars. And let's see what happens. Oh, I'm getting an error here. It says me create stars int in my world cannot be applied to bracket bracket. Oh, that is because here my method create stars has a parameter and I forgot to put that in here. I can now specify how many stars I want. Let's say I want 300 stars. And let's try that again. I've got another error. What have I done here now? Cannot find simple get. Oh, it has a spelling error. And of course, without cut and copy and paste, I duplicated my error here. And there's a missing return statement. Oh, because I've written int. I don't actually want to return anything. Let's try that again. It now works. And here's your space with stars. That's it for today. Have fun and remember, send me the projects that you build on top of this if you do anything with it. I'd be very interested to see what you take this to. Until next time.